Greetings, I'm Vince DiNoto, the director of the Geotech Center and co-principal investigator of the National Center for Autonomous Technology. You're seeing right now a map, and let me explain a little bit about the functionality of this map. This is advanced technology programs, specifically programs in UAS, land transportation, and marine technology. So you have three different colors of dots on the screen. The orange-ish colored dots are UAS programs. The maritime programs are in blue. And the land transportation programs are in green. If two programs are very close to each other, they may be on top of each other and you're not seeing the difference. So I'm just going to pan across here with my mouse. I'm going to click on a dot and it should open a pop-up for us and tell us a little bit about that program as you can see showing up here. We can also use our mouse and just using the scroll wheel scroll in. Notice the changing of the map and we can go over here and click Champaign-Urbana area and find this is Parkland College and we can scroll back out and pan by just holding the mouse button, left mouse button. We can also turn on and off some layers. So over here on our left hand side we're seeing some layers. I'm going to turn off the maritime programs and the advanced land technology programs and now we're looking at only the UAS programs. I can then click on the NCAT leadership and you can see where the different um, leaders are that are part of the NCAT project and I'm located here near Louisville, Kentucky. If we want more details about any one of these three technologies, we can pick one of these three buttons and we'll do that in just a moment. You can also get to the Geotech Center's website and the NCAT website by clicking on the two logos over on the upper left corner. So let's click on the UAS programs here. And you can see here the map that we just saw, but notice there's two different color of dots. The blue dots are those that are part of the FAA CTI program, and the orangish colored dots are those that have UAS programs at their institution that are not part of the CTI program. This is an interactive set of pie charts and also bar charts. So if I want to see the programs only in Florida, I can click on the Florida bar and it will zoom me into Florida and I can see the different programs here. So if I click on a single dot, it again will bring me up information about that program area. Notice this says one of two. So if dots are close to each other or there's multiple layers that you can select, you can use this little right arrow and that's just showing which FAA region this college is located in. Notice also as we went to Florida all the pie charts changed appropriately. So we can see how many are CTI approved, how many of what type of degree type and we'll look at this in more detail in just a moment and how many from which region? Well they're all from the southern region because we've selected Florida. To go back to our map, just click on the bar again, and it takes us back. So we can come over here again and look at only the CTI schools. Click again and we see all the schools, or click the orange each colored piece, and we see all only those schools that are not CTI. Notice the charts above have changed appropriately. If we want to look at schools that offer degrees, we need to click on the pale green color here. Those are the schools that offer degrees. But notice there's this one called both. That means they offer degrees and certificates. So I really need to click on both of those. So now I've clicked on both of them and we have basically done a query. The regions in the country that are represented are shown in this pie chart above and we have selected two different um, 
questions, if you will. So if I click, I can go back to the original. If I want only those with certificate, I click the blue and I click the orange. And we can see those with certificates and see how other charts change at the same time. If we only want to look at the schools in a certain region, let's say we want to look at schools in the Great Lakes region, that's this paler blue color. I'm going to choose that. Notice the map automatically zooms in. The bars show us just the bars in that region. And we can now explore a specific area. So you've done this. You've um, interacted with um, the dashboard that we have here. But you realize your school's program is not represented on this map. To get your program onto the map, over here on the left, you will find there are a group of questions. And you go through and answer all these questions. And we will then take a look at what your answers are. And then if everything is in good condition, we will allow that school to join the map. If we have questions, we'll contact you um, to make sure we can clarify everything. The one important point is to make sure that you get the address in correctly. So you put the address of your institution here. Make sure that it actually bring, finds that address and fills in that bar with it so that this um, pointer moves to the appropriate place. It can be done manually also, but I typically find putting the address in is the better way to do it. So we're going to go back to the map that we showed before. And so that was the UAS programs. Let's look at the maritime programs. It looks very similar. And we have only one pie chart here. We have our serial chart going across the bottom. And again, we have the program survey. And I can do the same thing one more time and go to our land transportation map and you'll see it has a pie chart, the serial chart, and again a survey. These surveys are not identical. These surveys are unique for the type of program that we're looking at. So we're looking at advanced land transportation. We're looking at things such as are they heavy trucks, are they automobile collision, so on. What kind of degree is on all of them? Is this a vendor certification? And you can see some of the type of questions we ask. So to get yourself onto these charts, you can do that by going to the appropriate bar off the main page that you'll interact with and put yourself in there. We will then curate your information to make sure everything's appropriate. And if everything's appropriate, you should appear on the map in a very quick period of time. All the charts will automatically update and you will be included in those charts. Let me go back to the UAS program and show you one other thing on the UAS program. We have a layer called Drone Pro and with left turned off, but we can turn on the Drone Pro layer and you can see that's where individuals are that work with drones and um, make use of that pe group of people also. There is one other map that you link to from a different location, and that is just the CTI schools. And so there's just the CTI schools in its own map. And that link um, but it'll be provided off of an FAA CTI school type location. So if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll be more than willing to work with you. And again, I hope you enjoy working with our maps.